Hey guys, so um, uh, today I played the steeple of Frosted Travels, or Frosty Travels. I cannot remember, but um, uh, this is a video, and it took time to make, so I'd really appreciate it if you would like and subscribe and comment and help me get ahead in the algorithm of YouTube that nobody understands. Um, uh, if you'd help me do that, I'd be very thankful, and um, uh, if you liked the video, I'd be very happy. If you subscribed, I'd be very happy, so if you did that, I'd be very happy. So, um, uh, yeah, just enjoy the video. Hey guys, so um, uh, I'm doing yet another Christmas steeple. This is, the, this is the third upload for today. Okay, so first what you want to do is if you want to read that sign, you totally can. But this is so this is the zip line. So then you ride the zip line, and then you go through the spinners, and the spinners spin, and then the spinners spin, and then you gotta go through the spinners. It's just luck based. Just wait. Okay, so now you're on the ice. A good trick for ice is to jump, and then move in midair, and then whenever you land, you'll have all your momentum. Okay. So now you're up here, alright? So you know what you do over here? You just wrap around, and then you go push this button. This spawns this sphere. So then, you move this sphere with the side, because um, uh, the front will climb or something, and it won't work. Trust me, I, uh, I learned this, because I've done the steeple before. Okay, so now you want to go spin, go sideways, and then after you go sideways, after like nine years of just sliding on the ice, you'll finally get through over to the slide. So then once you put it in the slide, it activates a button. There's a cool little shortcut for the button, just go down there, and that's an epic shortcut. Anyways, now you want to go back here, now you want to climb onto that ladder after doing that, and then flick here, and then you want to go up here, and then through here, and then you just want to go across. This this Kilbrick Spinner does a negligible amount of damage, so you don't need to worry about the Kilbrick Spinner at all, because it really doesn't hurt at all. Okay, so now after you've gotten past that Kilbrick Spinner that did like 2 damage, you just want to go through these cylinders, try holding jump, it makes you go faster. And yeah, this ice maze, just follow where I go, you go here, and then you go here, and then after you go there, you, you're done. Okay, so now you win. Not yet. There's still a lot more steeple to go. Okay, so you want to do that ice momentum thing, and then you want to jump into that, and then grab it, and then go there. And then for this, just hold W, and then just spam jump until you stop moving. Okay, and then you just want to do that, and then that, and then you just want to... Kaboom! Very loud fan noise. I don't know why it's there, but you have less jump power now, so you just gotta be good at obbying. And uh, this floor is kind of long, so you know it's 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 pretty much all just purest gameplay though. So um uh, yeah, it's got a little bit of ice, but it's it's not too bad. Okay, so you do that, and then you go here, and then after you go there, you do a funny little walk around, or you can just jump if you want. And then you flick off of that. This snow is a kill break, but it does like a negative amount of damage. It'd be funny if you died there. Okay, so then you jump, and then you jump, and then you jump, and then what do you do with that ice? That's right, you climb up this ladder, because this ladder is here for some reason, if it'll let me climb up it. Thank you. Okay, tightrope time. Then you go across the tightrope, and then you do the ice, and then after you do the ice, you do this wrap, and then after you do that wrap, you wait for this elevator thing to come up, I mean, come down, and then you have to go, and then it goes up, and then it goes up, and then you wait for it to go up, and then it goes up. Alright, so then you're here, you're in this hallway thing, and then you go over here, right? And then so after you go over there, right, you're probably thinking, where do I go? You get down to this ice, that's what you do. And you don't fall like I did. Okay, so now you're back here. So what you want to do on the ice is that you want to get your momentum, and then you just want to jump. And then you want to climb up this ladder, right? After you climb up this ladder, do a jump to there, and then 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 you're out of this ice thing. So that in and out can be a little t tricky, but yeah. So now you just want to follow this wood, walk down to here, and then do here. And then what do you do here? That's right, you just let it bounce you up, and then you go over to the side, and then you go up this ladder, and then you go, um, uh, there's a little thing, there's a little lip that, well, that would hit your head if you try to jump into it, just so just walk into it from the side. And then after you walk into it from the side, you want to turn around and then jump up here, and then jump up here. And then you want to go wrap, and then after you wrap there, you want to wrap there, and then there is a tight rope. So you want to do the tight rope. And after you do the tight rope, you want to jump, and then jump, and then jump down here. And then jump over here, and then jump over there, and then get on this truss. And after you get on this truss, do a little flick, or you can jump off if you want. And then after this, you see another tightrope, and you're probably thinking, this tightrope is annoying, and it is annoying. But then, you take the other tightrope, and then you have two tightropes, and then, look at that, there's a funny little minecart thing. I don't know why there's a minecart track and a fan inside a snowman, but there is! So now we ride it, and then, after that very loud crash, we're here. So, uh, sometimes the models for the presents don't load in, and you just gotta walk around aimlessly until you find the presents. I think that's what I have to do here now. I don't know. I'm, I'm gonna try. Oh, they are loaded in. They're just really small. Okay, so the presents, right? The presents, they load in, and then you see them, and you're like, oh, there's a present there. There's some presents where I go, because I know where the presents are. So then you just go to where I go, and then you see presents, and then you win, because present epic gaming. Okay, so now you go up here, and then you touch that, and then you go here, and then you touch that, and then what do you do? What do you do? You go inside this bush, and you get a present, and then what do you do? Oh, would you look at that? There isn't a present over here. There's a present over here. Just kidding, it's a snowman. You just got pranked. Epic prank. 
I don't know where the seventh present is. I kind of forgot. Let me like, give me a second. It's inside of this bush. I just got it. Okay, cool. So now after we have those, we go into here, and then we just activate all of these buttons that are very loud, and then we go over to the next floor. Okay, so after you go over to the next floor, you're probably wondering, where do I go? You go over here. After you go over here, you do the obby. So then you jump up here, and then here, and then you jump there, and then you jump here, and then you have to do a corner clip. Just do the corner clip. And then after you do the corner clip, you can just go here. And after doing that, you can just skip. You can just skip part of this. You can just skip part of. You can just skip part of the steeple just by doing that. And then a two stood climb. I think I'm gonna do it legit because some people probably don't know how to high jump very well. And I haven't actually done it legit, so this is gonna be my first time. So you walk around there, and then you do an in and out, right? And after you do that in and out, you go over here, and then you jump over to here, and then you do that, and then you do that, and then that's how you do it legit. That's my first time of doing it. That's pretty cool. All right. So, um, uh, this part is pretty annoying, because it's just pretty annoying. You just- it just falls over. There we go, and you got it. So what I recommend is a light tap, but you just gotta tap it light enough. Also, that is an epic troll. But I recommend a very light tap, and then do some things. And don't touch the neon, or else it will screw you over and land you on the button, forcing you to do another light tap onto this moving thing. In order to dodge the neon, don't go all the way to the stud, you just gotta wrap around from a far distance. And after you wrap around from a far distance, don't get knocked into it by this thing. After you ride that thing, um, uh, you win. Just kidding, you don't win. Get epic prank. You actually fall because there was a moving platform there and you didn't see it. Okay, so I am now back to this position. All right, so after getting to this position, you must wait for the moving platform. After the moving platform gets here, you don't want to get hit by that icy spike, so you move to there. And then after that, you do a wrap, and then you wait for the and then you wait for the moving platform. After waiting for the moving platform. You let it scrape you off right here, and then after it scrapes you off right here, you, you you don't get any jump anymore, but you get to elevator, and then you have to push that button, and then you have to wrap around the elevator. It's a pretty awkward wrap, but it works. And then after you wrap, you know what you do? I forgot. Oh yeah, that's right, you just go down, because it's an epic troll! Oh, okay. So then after you do that epic troll, you just walk into that, and then you do that, and then you do that, and look at that! You're on the final floor and with this really loud siren! Okay, so you're on this final floor, and the final floor is actually the troll right there. The final floor is actually the epic funny, because you have to speed run. But you don't have to go super fast, you just gotta go moderately fast. Anyways, after doing the epic speed run, um, uh, you just do the basic purest gameplay for the speed run. I have no idea what I'm saying, I'm just trying to... I'm just trying to commentate here, but yes, it is basic purist gameplay for like a minute. So it's gonna be a bit difficult to commentate, so bear with me. Okay, so then after that, you dr you get on this thing, and then you get bounced up, and then where do you go? You go here. Um, uh, I have no clue what each of these lasers do, but um, uh, I really don't want to touch them, so I'm just gonna not touch them because I forgot what they did, or maybe I never touched them in the first place. I, all, I think all they do is just damage you a little. All right, so then that conveyor goes really fast, so you just want to you want to you just want to jump off quickly like I did. So then after that, you just go here and then whoa! Oh my god! That wasn't actually the last oh music. That well, that wasn't actually the last floor. There's actually more floor to do. There's actually more obby. Luckily, there's safety nets on like all of it, so you don't really have to worry. So this is a random snowball, right? You know what the snowball does? You know what the snowball does? See that path in the ground? That's actually what you got to do. So just do what I do, and then you win. All right, that's right. After winning, you go up here, and then grab that, and then grab that present. Oh yeah, that's pretty pog. And after this, you go over here. And then what do you do? What do you do, you ask? You just follow this line, and then fall right down here. And then you push this lime green button. Um, uh, if you fall outside of the pillar while the lime green button is activated, I mean deactivated, like it's not activated, you are just totally screwed and you have to restart your entire run of the steeple, which is not something you want to do, so keep an eye on the duration of that light green timer. Okay, so after that, you have this weird, weird thing where you gotta do a wrap and then get camera bugged and then go up and then get flung. Okay, so then you're back on the zip line and then you go up and then that falls really quickly, so you want to get out of the way of that. And after that, you go up the ladder and then activate this push box. You go on this push box, and what do you do? You have to push that to open up that. 
So then after you go here, push that, come back, and then go on here, this path is opened up, so the push box can go over here, but the push box will fall off after the conveyor ends, so you want to jump down here. After you jump down here, do some basic purist gameplay, and then after you do some basic purist gameplay, there's some more not-so-purist gameplay, because what do you do? What do you do? You ride the zip line, and then you go touch this golden symbol, right? After you touch this golden symbol, you get this present, and then that's that's that challenge. Okay, so let's move on to the third challenge. The third challenge is just some more basic purist gameplay, which is almost impossible to commentate over, but I'll try my best to commentate over the the basic purist gameplay. Okay, so I forgot what you want to do, and I remembered what you want to do. You want to wait for the spinner. The spinner is about to be here, so it's not that long of a wait. These, these snowballs do almost nothing. Oh, yeah, they do a lot. They actually try to, like, fling you off. Okay, well... Just don't get hit by the snowballs, I guess. That's my advice. They probably buffed it since the last time I played. Okay, so what, what do you want to do? You just want to momentum jump it. After you momentum jump it, you'll be good. And after you're good, you do some in and outs. And then, there's a big snowball. There's a big snowball shooter, right? So the snowball shooter is a big snowball. And I assume they do the same thing as those other snowballs. So what you want to do is you just got to outrun the snowball. And then you win. And then after that, you outrun the snowball, and then you do some more really simple purist gameplay. Touch that vent, you get the third present! Okay, all that's left is the red present, which is this. It looks really easy, but it's not. You actually have a- you have actually have a lot of obby to do. So what you want to do is you want to go down there, and then go over here. There's a safety net, so don't worry. But still, it's kind of spookier. Alright, so then after you do that, and then you do that, yeah, there's a- there's a walk-around section. And the walk around section is pretty awkward, so just do it. But the thing is, there's a safety net. So that's right, you just beat the steeple, because there's a safety net, and you just abuse the safety net really hard. So now you climb this truss, and then after climbing this truss, you'll be greeted by the wind pad at the end. Epic, insane cuts. Alright, and then after this, you can read this sign if you want. Just pause the video, and then BOOM! You touch the steeple, and you're done! You're done with the steeple! If it'll let me work, come on! Let me win! Let me win! Yeah, thank you! Okay, cool. Pause. Bye-bye!